obviously that is power that changed the function so that's obviously bluetooth so you can connect it to your phone yes hello and welcome back to another video now this can be a slightly different video for for a while because most of my recent videos have been my motorbike videos and my car videos and other stuff like that so if you if you liked cars motorbikes cycling all that kind of stuff then my youtube channel and check all those different playlists and while you're there if you could click the like button on these on this video press subscribe click the notification bell and comment something nice and i hope this video is better is good because i've been watching a lot of when i want to buy something i will i will do at least a month or more or weeks of vigorous testing not testing but a vigorous um research of what's the best thing for my money what's going to be what i want it to be because i'm a sound engineer um, um for tv and film or what i was anyway until this covid hit in and so the sound has to be right for me so if it's gonna be shit it's going back it has, it has to be what i want it to be so i, I wanted to know what it is what the wattage is the output wattage is what the inputs are if it's good so this video is going to be showing you what the inputs are um, what the wattage is, the price, where I got it from, why I chose this, over other things and all that stuff. T, I mean H, it is the HTSB110, so 110 basically. Uh, Bluetooth wireless streaming, so off you, so you can use it to get music off your phone and play it throughout the, the, the play it throughout the um, the room. It has a total output of 90 watts, which you may not think is a lot really for um, for a soundbar. But if you go on Curry's, PC World, Argos, Amazon, and you look and you find one that's say 300 watts, it's amazing, and it has a subwoofer with it, amazing. But if you like to look at the, the, the specifications, the actual specifications, um, the actual soundbar is only between 80. 50 to 80 and to 100 wattage. The actual subwoofer has the 200 wattage because you have to push those, the base into it. So for, for this one to be 90 watts for the whole thing, it's actually almost as good as, or it kind of could be actually better than other ones that are cheaper or that are more expensive that are around 60, 70, some are only 30 watts. Um, and if you look at the Sonos B, any Sonos product, you try and find the specifications about the, the output volume, the output wattage, you can't find them anywhere. I've looked, I've been looking vigorous because I wanted to get one of those ones because they're like 300 quid at the minute, which is ridiculous. They were 400, now they're 300 on the over Black Friday, um, which, is, which is where I'm recording this. And they don't tell you what the output is. Um, but this one's 90 watts, I'm thinking that's pretty good, and for the price of 50 quid, it's not really that bad to be honest so it also it says it equalizes for different sound modes so if you want music you can flick it to music apparently cinema tv depending on how how you want it to feel because if you watch if you watch a film you want it to really bring out the uh the feel of being in a film if you want music you want it to make it sound like you're in a theater or something like that or a, a concert just sound really good um, it says it has easy control. You can easily control your um, TV remote with your TV remote, but you have to use it via the HDMI and ARC. This basically means when most people, um, when they are plugging in a soundbar, they plug it in by the mains and they get an optical cable, which is basically the blue light, or I think it's blue, some of some my different colour, that goes into the back of it, which I'll show you. I'll do a little cutaways to show you where the optical holes and all this stuff is and it plugs into the, the optical port in the back of your television and it sends the signal for the for the, um, for the audio signal from the TV through to your soundbar producing it but what it does come with is it comes for one thing here is the soundbar like that I'll do a better picture of it do a cutaway of it now in front of the TV so you can see how big it is compared to a 42 inch TV which is mine is comes with the remote control which is there which I'll do another cutaway of that I like the cutaways because it's just stupid and you go like that you know what I mean comes with 
the wall mount, which I'm not even going to put it on the wall. I'm going to put it in front of the TV because my TV is on, is, on a, is on a TV stand, not on the wall. Because I don't want I don't want the TV up up ahead because then you can't you're looking up like that. I want to be able to have it at eye eye level, so I'm not going to use that. It comes with two power cables. And you make that like, two power cables? What do you need that for? Well, that is the British power cable it comes with. But if you're in the EU, like France, Italy, Spain, various, various, it comes with um, a European plug as well, which is good. So you don't see that. So it's good because sometimes you have to put, you'd have to plug that in, and then get the adapter you get when you're on holiday and plug it in. It's just ridiculous. Where that, that's amazing. I like that. So, so what you get with it is, is you get the UK plug, the European plug, some batteries for your remote control, the wall mount and the fixings which is great, um, obviously the box, you get the manual which I doubt I'm going to need the manual because it's not exactly hard to use and you get the um, the soundbar itself so I'm going to switch this over to it once I've set it up and you can see how it how it is, whether you think it's any good or not. Let's uh, Let's set it up, so talk to you in a minute. Obviously that is power, that changed the function so that will be um, depending on what uh, source, whether it's music, film, TV, you press that. That's obviously Bluetooth so you can connect it to your phone for the pairing thing. That's the up and down the volume and obviously that's the on. Oh there, you've now set it up. Um, I've put the optical in it because I, as I say it doesn't come with a HDMI ARC. Uh, but um, cable, which I probably will get that down the line because if it's good and 10 quid for a cable, why not? So I play a song through my um, through my phone and see if it actually see if it's any good. It's to connect to this. So you do that. Pairing. There you go. Pairing sharp. So you just press that. Pair. Paired. See how, how loud it is, shall we? It's not massively loud. But it's pretty good. Nine Hello, mister. Some of the proportions could be tweaked. Now, to be honest, it's pretty good. My first concern is that pretty the good. Now I've turned that down. It's, it's pretty narrow. good. Yeah. Or bigger. The walk-in wardrobe can also be simplified by running a walkway sentry from the main bedroom, with storage now on either side. After a six Twin, that's from level 20, which is what we normally watch films on. By October, thankfully those foundations Not have been completed, high. allowing block work to get underway. But Emma's optimistic build plan... It's not bad, it's not bad is it? For 50 so quid? It's a sound bar that works. I'll see how it goes, I'll keep it for now, 50 quid done. What do you think? Did you like it? It's sharp, it's not a big name anymore. But, you know what, for 50 pound? It'll do the job, I think. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll test it with a, um, with a film tonight, and see what, see how it goes. But I think, I think it's a keeper. It might be better. Another one might be better. But considering that they should be sixty-five to eighty quid or whatever for these, for these sound bars, and I've got it for fifty quid, and it hopefully will do the job for films and. I think it's quite good. I mean, you get what you pay for, but considering everybody, what everybody wants, sound bars now. They don't want massive surround sound. If they do, they want the all the wireless. They want to be able to. Do. But everything, everything, everything wireless has to be charged. This is powered from the back of my TV. I'm going to get the cable, like I said, because I think I should. Even better. But it's a sound bar that's going to enhance my viewing enjoyment, enhance my music enjoyment. Hence for TV enjoyment of normal stuff. I probably won't use it for TV, well, but I'll just use it for films and for music. So um, for that, I'll see how it is. 
but I think it's a good it's a good buy in this one. Not not a good buy, like a good buy. Um, I think it ain't too bad personally. Um, things that you, if you want if you want if you want something to last, you've got to pay the premium. That's why Sonos, you pay 300, 400 quid for something. It's going to have a Lexus on it. It's going to have this. It's going to have that. It's going to have the other one. It's going to have everything you could think of on it. Yeah, it's just mint. It isn't it smaller than that? This for what for the for the power outage for the price for a budget thing a budget soundbar it's not bad it doesn't have the best bass in the world but you don't want bass to be you don't want a bass to treble really even though it has it on the on the um, control pad you want the actual you want a flat sounding really um, speaker to that the actual source, the music that it's created, the the um, the sound in a film that's created to be brought out in the thing you're watching, in the music thing you're watching. People spend hours in a music studio perfecting the bass for what it should, what they think it should sound like on a music on a music track. In a film, you have all these different music and after effects and all this other they have a massive studio to bring to bring you the sound they feel it, that it deserves in a film so that's why you want it you want the sound bars as flat as possible being the source and then let the actual let the actual um project the actual thing that you're watching or listening to produce the bass for you so if you like this video um give it a thumbs up Comment down below what you think of it. So I, I am into my sound and my music and my video and my and my films. So it has to be how I want it to be. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to get something of it's shit. It's good for the for the price. Obviously, you're going to get the 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 more the higher you get, like three, four, five, a thousand, over a thousand pound one. You can get amazing ones. You go into a theatre, they spend millions on these, or even hundreds of thousands on these surround sound systems for you to make it feel amazing like it's supposed to be because you're paying to go to see a film or you were until they could be closed because of covid but for you for in your house when you've got to think about your neighbors as well it's a great little device hit the hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment down below um, watch my other videos on my channel we've got plenty of coming up soon as well on my channel so stay tuned when the weather gets better Gonna get on my pedal bike, as my bicycle and my motorbikes coming out once once the weather gets better. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you again soon, and thank you for the continued support. Bye bye.